Hello everybody. I got a question the other day where I've been. I've been pumping out videos pretty regularly. Um, well, to be honest with you, I've been here, grinding hay, working at the feed pins. I just, we got real busy and I've been sick for, oh, going on quite a few days now. And that really, really kind of put a dent in on the videos. Because uh, I had some really, really nice ones planned too. And that was, uh, I had started, I made the first half of the, the hay grinder video, which I made that like two weeks ago, which was going to go in the depth why I bought it and start off the equipment series because that's the first one I, I, I bought. <coughs> but between getting our uh, our hydraulic chute in place, the pad port, getting the chute in place, getting it wired up, and dealing with all the sick cattle that we've got, I just and then me getting sick, and then I've been uh, sold some cattle on Superior last Wednesday. Uh, today is. Day Sunday. Tomorrow is President's Day, so I'll give you kind of an idea. I don't know what the day is. Uh, and some other stuff. It's just been, I uh, just really kind of slacked off on the videos, not because I wanted to. Uh, yesterday, I thought I was getting better, and it just kicked my ass all night. Uh, a lot of just like a head cold. It's just shit. Our employees last, or summer, our wintertime employees last day was uh, Wednesday. He left Wednesday. Ship Kev's Thursday to an auction. Uh, and just, just been going ever since. Uh, and it, it was just uh, a neighbor kid helping us that worked uh, while he was off for Christmas break. So, and he, uh, man, it was great help, great help. So it's back just to me and my dad. I've got a set of Kevs in here now that we've been having a lot of trouble with. And with the same group we've been buying since uh, November. And just having a lot of trouble with them. I don't, I don't know. Uh, a lot of trouble with them. And it doesn't seem doesn't seem to be anything that we do makes any difference at all. Uh, you know, Kev's were getting high, and then, you know, last week the cattle feeder board kind of tanked. So, and I sold three semi loads last week during all that shit. They, they did good. I mean, that, I can't complain. They all made money. Uh, one of those sets of calves, it's the first time in if they hadn't made money that day, that would have been three years in a row. Just, you're looking at ranch, you know, financials of buying those cows after the drought and things like that. And then you, uh, stuff like, then the market tanks to what it had. And, you know, you, sometimes there's just no way they'll make money, but those ones, they finally made money. Uh, getting kind of everything back in decent shape. Uh, you know, next year we'll uh, we'll probably save some heifers back. We haven't been able to save any heifers, uh, just money-wise. So next year we'll be able to start doing that. Probably buy cows instead of saving very many heifers. I might save a few, but the majority of my replacements I'll just buy them because it's cheaper and quicker. And I need calves on the ground now. So. Uh, that's that's kind of where that's at. I got two two major major things that happened this past month. Uh, last week, or I guess this this uh, this past week is the, the second major thing that happened. We're not gonna go in. Uh, we'll just say it like this. It's. Uh, definitely going to change what we're doing on our videos uh, change the direction we're going with 
our operation. Uh, just having to scale up a few things in certain areas and, and prepare for some other things. But uh, so it's going to be an exciting year. I think 2018 is going to be uh, it's going to be a hectic year, a very hectic year. But it's going to be an exciting year. And, you know, as long as we get moisture and the cattle market isn't terrible, and 2018 should be a very, very good year. Um, it's going to be stressful. It'll be a very stressful year. I think that's that's one reason why uh, this this head cold has been as hard as it has been because I think you know a lot of it is I've been been under a lot of stress the past couple of weeks and and it's just uh, that takes a toll on you it takes a big toll on you and I caught it from somewhere didn't didn't get it from kissing girls because my wife's not sick so I, I had to pick it up from somewhere <laughs> but maybe I'll be uh maybe I'll get her sick. But yeah, that's I just wanted to kind of touch base and let everybody know the videos are coming. The videos that I promised are coming. It's just with with the uh, with what's going on. I've had some other things, you know, come up kind of slowing down the video part of things, but uh, there'll be a big backlog of them. I'll get them all done. You know, we're gonna still gotta make the next saddle shed video. Still gotta make uh, the equipment videos, which, you know, that's probably gonna be a year long process. That's gonna be real fun. Might not do too many of them during the summertime, because uh, views are always, everyone's always busy in the summertime. But that's probably when we'll get, we'll get the majority of them done this, this winter and spring. Uh, as of today, we still have not received any moisture since the 30th of September, and I mean any. Uh, that's that's where our health problems are coming from. Is it's you know it'll be 10 degrees at night, and 70 degrees the next day, or you'll have uh, and it's blowing blowing dirt everywhere. Uh, it's affecting me. It's affecting my dad. Anybody who's working outside, you're just eating dirt all day long. You're just breathing that shit. I've seen it. I've seen it this bad before, but you know it was prolonged four-year drought. Uh, this has just been. We just have not had any moisture, and any chance that we get, you know, we'll get a chance for it, and then it just poof. So we've only had a couple of frost. Like it has been a joke. We haven't had anything. And that's that's where I would say 90% of our health problems are coming from is the lack of moisture and it's the temperatures just swinging all over the place. <coughs> so you got cattle with big hair on them because it's winter and it's not we don't have any moisture so it's solid dust and then you get one day where the high is 30 and the next day the high is 70 and it's just and it's just back and forth all week long you know we're in, we should be in the 50s for the high and it's just it's it's screwing with everything it is hard on everything everybody hears out a wheat um i watered my wheat last week i mean i never watered anything in january and i just don't do that Everyone here is running the irrigation wells, trying to get anything on their wheat that they can. Uh, you can seriously go out in my wheat field and grab that shit, what's left, because the cattle have eaten most of it, because it's not growing. And it's like grabbing hay out of a bale. It's just, it's green, but it's so, it's been so windy and dry, it just sucks all the moisture out of it and it can't grow. You, know, you go a couple feet, you know, go a foot down, there's moisture, but the top, there's nothing. And so that stuff is just seriously just like, hey, it just crunches. Uh, I turn my pivot on, and just from the water hitting the plants, it looks like you just sit there with a weed whacker and just mulched it. I mean, it's, we're, in, we're in bad shape. We're in really bad shape. And I just hope we start getting moisture because if this thing prolongs into a, you know, a drought, 
we're screwed. We, we really are in trouble. Um, we couldn't, I don't think at this point, after dealing with the last drought and dealing with the inflated cattle prices and us having to having to buy cows to get, you know, to restock our ranch, because I bought my ranch and, you know, you got to pay, you got to pay that mortgage, well, you can't pay the mortgage without cows, so I had to, I had, I sold, sent all my cows to Texas, and they were kind of played out after living in the sand dunes here, and so I had to buy cows when the market got high to replace those cows to make my payments. Well, when the cattle market tanked, you know, I got a group of cows didn't make any money for two years. Uh, they lost money continuously. This year, the first year, they're going to they're gonna pay back a lot of debt this year. And other than that, they're just going to break even. But they're paying back a some net, big amount of debt over the past two years of not making any money. But if we get in a drought again, I I don't think we can. I can play that one. I think that would, that would not be good. So, so that's just where that, that would put us. Um, I'm having to pause the video so I can blow my nose and shit and drink coffee. But, you know, it's, it's always something. <laughs> I've, I've been accused of spending money all willy-nilly, but, you know, you, you're trying to build something that can survive shit like that happening droughts and stuff and and it takes money it takes a lot of money um and it you've got to either spend it or you're you know i i've been through i've been through a drought where you know it was just okay we you know we put up a little hay and it was we had the cows on the grass and that don't work at all so that's why i really kind of started building my feed pens that and there was nothing to do once we shipped all the cows off. But the other other part of that is, I'll have enough grass for one year, the way we stocked it, but after that I won't have any grass at all. And so I could probably take those cows, the majority of them, and put them in the feed pens and or on wheat or something, try to save as many as I can. Uh, but it's... It just better start raining. That's all I've got to say. Is it better start raining pretty damn quick or snow? And we really, we really need some snow. And that's we really need some snow. As, as much as you know, it really screws with cattle coming into the pens. I don't think it'd be any worse than what the dust is already. I really, really don't. Well, I didn't plan on making it this long, but that gives you a, a good little update on what the hell's going on and why I haven't been putting any videos up. But they're coming. I just get back to it when I feel like it. But uh, I got a new camera for Christmas, so that's going to be fun. Uh, it, it's a GoPro, but it, it's a newer GoPro. It's a 5. Because my, my original one was a the original one but this one you can actually connect it to your phone and all that happy stuff uh, make some more interesting videos especially that cutting hay and stuff like that but anyways just uh, giving you a heads up comment rate subscribe there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming up I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe every chance I get like some people I actually find it pretty comical. Uh, there's one guy, I actually like his videos, a guy in Wyoming, like every time he's like, and if you wanna see this happen, subscribe. If you wanna see it all happen, subscribe. I'll just wait till the end to do that. Thanks for watching.